Hey everybody, this is Josh. The Josh B is my gamer tags, and you see on there in the left hand corner. And in this video, is going to be kind of similar to the video I made a couple weeks ago to where I fixed the country. In this video, I'm going to save the planet, save the environment, save all that stuff. It's uh, kind of no surprise that a lot of people don't really actually care about what they do and how it affects the world in which they live. Which is it's kind of shitty because we only got one planet to live on. We haven't figured out how to colonize other planets yet. So we kind of need to take care of this one that we're on. And this is also an issue where people, I think, make it out to be way more difficult than it really needs to be. And, you know, like a lot of people that think they're saving the environment, those whack jobs that like go and set whole neighborhoods on fire and shit and let neighborhoods burn down. I think they're in like Washington State or wherever they do all the time. Those guys are idiots, man. That's, that's not how you save the planet. But anyways... Here are my ideas. First and foremost, you always hear that about this global warming, global warming. I use that in quotes because shut the, just shut the fuck up, idiots. It's you can't prove to me that we man made the met, that people are making the planet get warmer. Uh, the kind of you know planet runs on cyclical cycles and stuff, constantly warming and then going back and cooling. It's cyclical. It's what happens. But anyways. A reason for, you know, stuff that gets hotter and shit is they always say, like, the polar ice caps, you know, they're melting, so there's less white brightness to reflect the heat and the sun's rays back up to the air. Well, you know what we can do to help alleviate that? All this asphalt and stuff on the roads? Gone. No more asphalt. Just concrete. Asphalt absorbs way too much heat. You guys know this. If you've ever tried to walk down the road barefoot in the summer, it will cook your ass. Shingles on houses. Probably about 90-95% of them are black, you know? So, let's get rid of that. All shingles from now on, white. Most of the, like, flat roof, big, like, industrial buildings and stuff, like malls and plants and shit, their roofs are usually, like, rolled on tar. And guess what? Tar's black. So, let's figure out how to dye that shit or something to make it white or, or something, you know? It, get rid of all that inordinate amount of black shit all over the place and that'll help take care of a lot of problems. Secondly, this whole, uh, you know, what we consume for fuel and shit. I'm going to make another video on this and explain it further, but as far as power, no more coal plants. You know, none of that shit. No more run on oil. Nuclear power is the way to go. And I'll make a video in the future explaining as to why that is. Cars. You know, cars run on gas and all this shit. Well, yeah, gas has the highest uh, heat of combustion. It has the most stored energy in it as a fuel as to what we have. I mean, we can switch everything over to diesel, which is more fuel efficient and stuff, but, you know, I don't know. Sure as hell, hybrids and stuff, and, and until we can figure out batteries and shit for full electric cars and, you know, when cars that don't end up feeling like golf carts anymore... The, that's what we're going to have to deal with now until something else comes up better. But you know what is a f we should not do waste money on in any way, form, or fashion, which a lot of the government likes to subsidize, and that is corn-based ethanol fuels. And here's why. Corn is not a an actual naturally grown, appear anywhere in nature type of thing. It's like man-made. You're not going to go anywhere and find natural growing corn. So, anytime we plant all this corn, which normally we plant to consume and to feed the cows, but when you get subsidies for make it turn into fuel, farmers plant more and more and more corn, which means they tear down more and more and more trees and fields and shit to plant all this extra corn to get turned into fuel, which is, you compared to gasoline, ethanol uses, I think, 35, it takes 35 or 40% more ethanol to get the same performance out of one, the equivalent amount of gasoline. That's ridiculous. So stop using fucking corn-based ethanol. If we want to use ethanol, let's use the algae-based stuff. That There's no subsidies. You just put water in these big tubes. You let algae grow. You turn that into fuel. Bam. This corn-based shit is a load of shit. And the only reason they have it is because the uh, the Midwestern folks are people that first talk to the government throughout the year to try and get subsidies and stuff. So that needs to go away. Uh Oh, yeah. We can get kind of make cars run on all old, old vegetable oil and stuff. You know we have all like uh, the McDonald's and Wendy's and shit all over the place? All that fry uh, oil and shit? That can go to make... can th That waste can be turned into like biodiesel and run cars on that. 
as opposed to actual diesel diesel. You know, we can do that. And here, I think, is the biggest thing. And it's going to be kind of controversial, but it's the fucking truth. Stop having kids. Especially in countries and continents to where you can't, there's not enough food to go around. There's not enough clean water to go around now. Stop having kids because you are putting a giant utter drain on all the resources that there are on the planet and you fail to realize it because all you want to do is keep screwing and squeezing out kids that cannot be taken care of overpopulation is what is going to destroy this environment we need to put a cap on people and kids i don't think you know i personally don't care about having a kid i don't think the majority of people need to have a kid there's tons of kids out there. You want a kid? Go adopt a kid or something that's waiting to have, find a home. You, There's nothing that says you need to procreate and have freaking kids. But if you do, well, I think we should limit everyone to one kid. Plain and simple. Enough is enough, man. Because the more and more people on this planet, the more and more our resources, resources get stretched. And the more and more we have to try and change things around, which in, inevitably will damage the planet. Be it tearing up more land, tearing down more trees, to grow more food, to stuff more people's faces, or to have all more science experiments and all these chemicals in the food to make them like chickens and stuff grow like three times as big and it's not natural and all that stuff gets spilled into the planet. That stuff has got to change. That is the biggest issue there is. The absolute biggest issue. And if we can take care of that, it will be much, much easier to save the planet. I know, I, I guarantee you, none of you people were expecting to hear that, but that's the damn truth of it. We need to limit population, and then our resources will go farther. Period. Alright guys, if you have any ideas to save the planet, you can go feel free to leave them in the comments. Let everybody know your ideas, and thanks for watching.